St. Catharines residents that are feeling the heat now have a new opportunity to cool down with the opening of a new splash pad next to the Port Wella Community Centre on Bogart Street. And when you look at this splash pad, when you look at what we're investing in in our neighbourhoods, it's about getting families to come back out into the parks and enjoy themselves. So when you come to a place like this and you can hear the laughter, you can ha hear the squeals of, of, of kids just getting the enjoyment of the space out, it's beautiful. In your remarks today, you mentioned an aquatic strategy. What exactly is, is behind that? So the aquatic strategy is, it's not just about the pools in a community, it's also about spaces where people can play with water. So you look at splash pads, you look at our beaches, and you look at our indoor and outdoor pools. It's how do we design a community so that when it's a hot weather like we got today, when we're facing a heat wave, and a really hot summer, people can come and cool down. So the aquatic strategy isn't just about what's in the pool, it's about places where people can cool down with water. Parks and Recreation staff oversaw the construction of the splash pad and were able to deliver the project on time and on budget. Council tasked us with uh, um, uh, putting up splash pads, additional splash pads in our, in our wards, in our communities. This was the first one. Our committee worked hard, council approved a quick turnaround, we did it, uh, and as the mayor said, on time and on budget. And as you look around, what are your thoughts? Oh, I drove in and I immediately smiled. I just, you know, I, I couldn't see faces quite from, the, from my drive-in, but I heard laughter, so that was the best thing. Uh, it makes me feel good, that uh, makes all of us feel good, all of our team uh, feel good that uh, we've done something here that the community can enjoy. Anybody of all abilities, all ages can come in here, We've got features within the splash pad that, you know, we hope that everybody can enjoy. Ward 5 councillors Bill Phillips and Sandy Bellows took part in the opening and both believe that the new addition to the park will be popular with residents. It's a, it's a young community. Uh, there's a lot of uh, young families here and we want to turn Port Weller Community Centre into a recreation hub. So this is kind of phase one. Uh, we're going to be putting an accessible washroom which is available to the outside. We're going to put that into uh, the Port Weller Community Centre. As you can see behind me we have soccer fields. We're going to do something with the tennis courts perhaps turned into pickleball as well as tennis. So we, want to, we eventually want to turn this into a recreation hub for the north end of St. Catharines. It's been widely used in the past but it's, uh, we just want to make, make improvements to it. When we close the pools we promised the uh, Grantham residents that we would replace it with a splash pad. This destination was picked. It's the perfect spot. We've got soccer fields. We've got the playground. Eventually the playground is going to be moved right behind here, the splash pad, so parents can keep an eye on their children and they're within um, walking distance from one to the other. Uh, it's just a great sense of community. As you can see, all the children are here. They're having a great time. And even the parents are having a great time. And it's accessible. As you can see, there's a child here in a wheelchair. And he's enjoying himself, too. So it's good for everybody. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.